Good day everybody and we meet yet again and um, so today I want us to talk about the hydrolysis of salt. It's uh, going to be quite a short video just to show you how uh, in acids and bases how you get salts uh, to go through to undergo hydrolysis. Uh, so if you haven't subscribed please uh, um, do welcome and be part of the family and I'm trying to dish out as much as possible everything that you need in order to make it in physics and I'll keep on dishing out those good good lessons and then uh, um, please just hit a thumbs up you know just to give this lesson a like uh, if you really like it okay and by the way you're more than welcome to also give a comment okay on how you find the lessons right now ladies and gents I just want us to quickly look at hydrolysis Right, so essentially hydrolysis is the reactions of salts with water. Okay, that's what hydrolysis in simple terms is. You know, the word hydro comes from the word water, right? Um, so in this case, we are reacting salts with water. So usually what happens is that you are given a salt and they want to know, will the resulting solution of that salt be acidic basic or will it be neutral okay now I'm gonna take a couple of examples let's say for argument's sake they give you something like uh, sodium ethanoate which is uh, something like CH3 COONA okay something like this they give you the salt and they want to know if this salt is uh, acidic or basic or rather the, uh, the the resulting solution so meaning that if they take the salt and put it in water will the resulting solution be acidic basic or will it be neutral okay I'm sure you've seen those questions uh, and they would therefore say to you prove by means of a reaction okay so I want to show you that quickly so what we do here is that we simply take this um, um, salt as it is, right? And I want us to find out where does this salt actually come from? I want you to think about it. CH3COO, this would have come from CH3, which acid and base reacted to give the salt. So it's CH3COOH. This is ethanoic acid. So this portion here, comes from ethanoic acid isn't it sodium usually this guy comes from what from sodium hydroxide okay so in order to produce the salt it means that you took sodium hydroxide and ethanoic acid or uh, what we term acetic acid okay now what we're going to do is let's first ionize or um you know uh, um let the salt undergo um, or dissociation, right? Um, so it will, uh, the salt will undergo dissociation, right? So in this case, you'd have, if it dissociates, you'll have CH3, COO minus. Now you should learn this. Uh, if you know, uh, don't know where this comes from, just learn it off by heart if you have to, okay? So when this guy breaks down, you've got two things that form there. You've got the CH3COO minus portion of it, and you've got the Na plus portion of it, okay? That's where this guy comes from. Now, ladies and gents, I want you to please listen carefully, okay? So I'm going to show you. Where does the CH3COO come from? Okay, where does it come from? It comes from this acid over there, CH3COOH, which is ethanoic acid. Okay, so what type of acid is this? Now, remember what I said to you, there are three strong acids that you have. That's sulfuric acid, HCl, hydrochloric acid. Uh, sulfuric acid as and nitric acid so anything out, out of those right is really considered to be a weak acid so therefore of course every organic acid by the way is a weak acid so this guy comes from a weak acid so we know this guy is weak okay so now we know what type of base is this 
So sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide, those are relatively strong. Okay, so we consider this guy to be a strong base. Okay, so uh, sodium hydroxide. Now, if you don't know this, please just watch the other videos on uh, acids and bases and you should be able to uh, at least get up to speed with that, right? So we say this is a strong base and that's a weak acid, all right? We said on the basis, remember it's just sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide. Of course, you've got all the other hydroxide bases, um, but uh, of all those, uh, sodium hydroxide and, the, and potassium hydroxide are the strongest, right? Now, I want to prove whether this would be a an acidic or a, uh, a basic solution, okay, when we put it in water, whether when we take the salt and put it in water, is it is the our resulting solution going to be acidic, basic, or is it going to be neutral? Now, look at this. You've got a weak acid that reacted with a strong base. Who's winning in this relationship? Definitely it's the strong one, right? So definitely it means that the resulting salt, which is this guy here, is going to be basic, okay? All right? So when we put it in water, the resulting solution will be alkaline, isn't it? It will be a basic solution, right? So as a result, how do I now prove that with a reaction? All right? So I was just showing you here how you get to the weak part and the strong part. So I already know from what I've just shown you here, I already know that the resulting solution will be basic. Why? Because it was the reaction between a weak acid and a strong base. So therefore this guy would dominate and as a result, the resulting solution will be alkaline. But now let's prove it. Okay. I want you to know how then do you use an equation to prove that you'll always look at the two things that reacted right and you simply say to yourself okay a weak acid will always give rise to a strong conjugate now please note this this guy came from that so this guy is weak so meaning that the conjugate is all is 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 strong so this guy would therefore be strong okay this is a strong uh, uh, base, right? It means that the ion there should be weak. So as a result, this guy is weak. Okay. So now all you simply do to prove that this salt here uh, will result in a basic solution. All you do is you always take your strong ion. Okay. You'll see when we do the next one. Okay. You take the strong ion and you react it with water so let's take the strong iron which one is the strong iron of course that one right so it's going to be ch3 coo minus and then i'm going to react it with h2o okay and what do i end up with okay strong iron and i react it with water so this is the actual proof here I was just explaining to you how you get to see which one is the strong or the weak. So we take the, the strong ion, react it with water. So it's the strong ion that always reacts with the water. Okay, right. And what do we now have? We're going to have as a result CH3COO. Now water is going to simply donate there and we end up with an H, right? So CH3COOH, so plus, but now what have we done? We now have OH minus over there, okay? And notice the presence of your hydroxide ions means that the resulting solution will therefore be uh, alkaline or it will be a basic solution, okay? Right? So uh, just to quickly recap, what did we do? We simply took, okay, a salt. So they gave us the salt. We said the first thing that you do is to ionize that salt or uh, to make it undergo, um, uh, yeah, uh, ionization or dissociation, right? And then all that we simply did, when it undergoes dissociation, we identify which one is the strong one based on where it comes from, right? 
okay we identified this guy is strong so therefore the strong ion reacts with water and as a result you look at the um uh, the the ion that results in that case and that will tell you whether it is an acidic solution or a basic solution let me show you with another example so that you'd see uh, how i'm going to do that very quickly right let's take for argument's sake uh, you've got ammonium chloride okay right in fact let me do that in a in another sheet right so let's say we've got uh, ammonium chloride so ammonium chloride looks something like this nh4cl right okay so when we take ammonium chloride where does it come from okay so when we dissociate this guy okay so it will be nh4 plus plus cl minus now ladies and gents you can either do this question in one of two ways okay it's either you take my videos and you remember this stuff okay or uh, you you try to understand it either way it works okay uh, and you'll still be able to get full marks so ammonium chloride so we want to prove whether the resulting solution is acidic basic or will it remain the same okay i mean uh, or, or will it remain neutral okay so now we need to find out once again where does ammonium come from so it means here we reacted two things we reacted nh3 ammonia with hydrochloric acid okay so now remember what we said so what type of a so this definitely is an acid this guy is a base or, or alkali right so in this case we're saying all right if we took nh3 ammonia right which is a base right so in this case what type of a base is this we know it's not sodium hydroxide it's not potassium hydroxide or any of the hydroxide bases so in this case this guy is weak so that's a weak base okay and what do we know about hydrochloric acid remember we said we've got three strong acids hydrochloric acid as well as uh, high as sulfuric acid h2so4 and nitric acid hno3 so definitely that guy is a strong acid so that's a strong acid okay so look at that so we said a weak acid uh, a weak base rather will give us a strong conjugate so definitely this guy is strong all right and then we've got a strong uh, uh, acid there it gives us a weak conjugate isn't it okay so we said you always take now we're going to prove is ammonium chloride okay going to be uh, when we put it in water is it going to uh, the resulting solution is it going to be acidic uh, basic or will it remain the same so all that we simply say okay look at this i'm going to answer it before we actually do the the resulting solution so it's a weak base with a strong acid who's winning there definitely the acid is dominating so it means the resulting solution will actually be uh, 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 acidic but let's prove that now okay now remember we said we take the strong uh, conjugate and we react it with water so i'm going to take nh4 plus it's the one that's going to react with water h2o and what does it do okay what do we get we will get nh3 please note there's no nh5 plus okay so what will form is nh3 so what would have happened it means this guy would have donated uh, h plus okay to water and so what would you have on the other side that's h3o plus okay so as a result what do we notice we've got h3o plus on the other side so uh, it would simply mean that the resulting solution is acidic and we've proven that right why because of the presence of our hydronium ions okay right so uh, that is how you would prove that there okay so i hope that has been helpful that is how you actually um, uh, do the hydrolysis of salts okay and i hope that has been helpful 
Okay, give us a thumbs up if you like this video. And I'll see you guys next time. And that's it for now. Shop, shop.